All right, welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. And for this one, I'm experimenting with tune shaders. And as you can see, I've taken this 3D object and turned it into somewhat of a, t a cartoonish 2D look. Um, I at least recently just uh, found out how to do this, and you know, I've been searching the web on how do you get 3D objects to make it look more 2D because this is something you know a lot of people experiment with when it comes to you know making a 2D film trying to incorporate 3D into 2D so and I recently came across someone who had a tutorial on how to do this and I followed along and it was pretty good so um, but yeah this is how I um, experimented with it and this is the result I got so and all that's and that's really all it is it's just a simple cube incorporated and adding in some you know uh, thick lines all around it and then giving it a nice cool color so and this is pretty much the result that I got for it so when I experimented with it so all right well without further ado let's uh, see if we can try to replicate this in this video so let's uh, get to it so I'll just exit out of here and we'll just create a new scene. And there you go. So pretty uh, self-explanatory, pretty simple. So I guess for this one, we'll just do the same thing. We'll just create a cube, drag it on here, five for shaded. And then for the first part we're going to do is we're going to have to, of course, add in a color to this because, you know, gray is just too bland for me. So first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go into your rendering settings because that's where the tune uh, button here is and then once you have that go to assign fill shader and then add in a solid color there are a different a load of options over here but for now we'll just stick with a uh, solid color and as you can see it gives it a sol it gives it a, a simple white um, if you don't want to go with white you can obviously change it here so uh, for this maybe We'll go with, let's say, I don't know, I think, uh, I don't know, I guess a white was fine, or you can go with a green or a blue. Um, I don't know, maybe it was just a light blue would be nice. So, and that's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much it with that one, with this part, you know, just adding in a simple color. Now, for the next part, you actually want to create a camera. So go to Create Camera, go to Panels, view selected, view th look through selected, and then you'll get this part, you'll get this, obviously the camera is um, set up right in the middle of where the box is, so you just kind of have to zoom on out, and then just aim exactly how would you want to see it through the camera lens, and there you go. Okay, and then um, as far as setting up the camera, you actually want to, in order to get a different background color through your render view, you actually have to go into your camera settings, so camera shape one, go all the way down until you see environment, and go to this tab, click it, and then you're going to see background. So instead of a black background, let's actually give it a more of a unique color. So let's say for blue, for a nice blue color, let's go with, I don't know, maybe pink? I mean, we can always change it if it doesn't look very good, so let's just take a look. Ah, uh, you know, that's pretty good. I know I'm not going to really complain about it, so. You know, who cares if it doesn't match up or if the colors don't really go well. I mean, unless you want to go with, like, maybe a, a yellow, we can always go with a yellow color. That looks a little better. So, um, but, yeah, for now, I guess we can just stick with, uh, whatchamacallit, we can just stick with the pink. Hold on. Before I do that, I just exit out of that. Now I just have to go back into my outliner, select my camera, instead of a... a a yellow, let's just go back with that pink and then check it from there. That looks a lot better. So, anyway, the next step is how do we get those nice round, um, square off shaded outline for the box? This is where we go into our um, tune settings again, but this time we're going to assign an outline. So, make sure you have the box selected, go to assign, assign outline, and then add new tune outline. Okay, and there you go. So this is where bas basically now you have this cool outline feature to where it really enhances the object to make it look more 2D. However, there are some things that we do want to take care of before we go into our uh, render settings. For profile lines, for now we're just going to turn this off, and then for border lines we're going to turn this one off as well. 
but you're going to want to keep crease lines on so if this is selected off you know obviously this would it would look like that so make sure the crease lines are on and then we're going to go down to the crease line setting so basically right here and then crease line color you can change it from instead of a, a black you could have it uh, let's say a blue not a blue but maybe a red you know you could have it like that but for now I guess we could have it just for black and then for crease angle minimum we're going to just maybe bring this down to a zero and then crease angle max we're going to bring this down to a zero as well and you'll see why and then hard creases only we'll turn that off and then for the crease line width, we can actually increase that. So, all right, so now you click off and you can see that we have applied our toon shader outline to our object. So now when we go to render it, uh, that's what it looks like. Now, you can see right now that the line is really, really thin and we really wanna at least maybe enhance it a bit so you know we can get these lines a little thicker. So that's why when we go back into our settings, as you can see right here, you know, we can obviously apply a th stronger um, threshold of a line. So let's just go back into our um, PFX Tune Shape 1 option and then Crease Line Width. Let's increase that to maybe, let's say, oh, 1.5 or something, something like that. Now the only um, trick with this is that you don't want to go too high otherwise the lines are going to get a lot thicker um, and then that's going to look kind of ugly so you know that's something a little bit nicer we'll just keep that for now um, as our image so I'll just exit out of that and then if you want to go a little bit higher we can go up to maybe two and you can see that now it's starting to really thicken up pretty intensely here so and that's pretty cool so and the, and the render times are really, really short. So, I mean, I only have this on a 6 by, 640 by 480 uh, resolution and whatnot. So, and then we'll just keep this image and we can go back and forth and see exactly what we have improved on. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I, I, I personally like this a little better with the thicker lines because it definitely enhances the photo or the object to really bring out that two dimensional look to it. And with this really, you know, interesting background. I mean, if we wanted to, we could change the, the color of the box to a different color instead of just this uh, cyan blue versus this purple color. So now if we go back into our, you know, settings here, we can obviously change the color to the solid, I mean, the solid shader, we can go back and change the out color to, let's say, yellow. And then for the actual camera we'll have to go back into our outliner uh, settings here camera one and then background color we could just go with maybe instead of a yellow color we can probably go with something like I don't know white Let's see what the white background does and there you go so that looks pretty cool so and you can go ahead and tweak some of the settings as far as the the widths of the lines, the crease lines, if you want to add in all those other features, go right ahead. So, and then just kind of just to go back and forth exactly what we've done. We've went from this to that to something like this. So, and you can go all crazy with this. I mean, if you want to, oops, I moved the camera around, so that's going to ruin that. So, make sure you go back to your uh, perspective view. So, and if you want, you can actually have this, you know, animate. So, um, let's see, let's increase our frames to maybe 100, set a key at 1, and then we'll select the object, and then probably at frame, I don't know, 30, you can just go up, set a key, and then go at frame 50, we'll have it turn on its axis, and then at frame 70, we'll have it turn again, like that. And then you can go all crazy with this. So, and then for this one, we'll have it just turn up like that, or something. So, and then pretty cool stuff. I mean, obviously, it's not really the best, but you know, you can obviously do whatever you want with it as far as that goes. So, but that's pretty much it as far as adding um, tune shaders and making your objects appear um, 2D rather than a 3D dimension, so.
that's pretty cool. So I gotta say, oh, we're, the only reason why it's bl the background is black is because we're not um, in our camera setting. So I have to go back into our camera setting and render that out. And there you go. So, all right, well that's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. If there's anything I did miss, um, I just learned this, so obviously I don't know exactly all of the features that you could do. But if I did miss something, let me know. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful for you and enjoy.